Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I will be explaining what are the key responsibilities of being a test lead. You should know if you would like to become a test lead or if you wanted to take an opportunity as a test lead, definitely you should know all these roles and responsibilities as part of the, taking up the UAT test lead responsibilities. So let us understand what are those responsibilities if you become a UAT test lead. The first thing would be if you would like to become a test lead, if you would like to become a user acceptance test lead, then you should be a subject matter expert. If you have worked as a subject matter expert, then definitely people will appreciate you people will respect you because you will have a good amount of knowledge so that people will appreciate about your subject matter expert it is not just a role of just leading the team of members or not just uh, leading five members ten members that area has gone now every test lead should be a subject matter expert and they should be able to perform the individual contribution roles as well if you are able to perform the individual contributor role then when you are a subject matter expert definitely you will have a higher weightage compared to the test lead who doesn't know the subject or he doesn't do the hands on the second thing would be the test lead should be able to validate the business requirements how we can validate we can validate with uh, all the stakeholders we can ensure that uh, so whatever the test cases which we define as part of the user stories whether everything is covered or not prior to the project go live everything should be required to be validated by the test lead and it should be able to communicate to the all the stakeholders on the quality of the testing or the coverage of the testing what is the progress of the testing whether testing is going in a right, right direction or not whether testing is having any challenges or not everything the test lead should be able to communicate to the all the relevant stakeholders that would be the key aspects where test lead should be able to provide detailed test status with the, all the stakeholders as well as it should be a part of the various stakeholders meeting where you should be able to present his view about the overall status of the UAT. Then the fourth would be as a test lead, UAT test lead, you will also be working with various key team members or stakeholders for that given project or an application testing, which is the business analyst. You will be interacting with the business analyst you will be interacting with the IT team, you will be interacting with the program management, you will be interacting with the development team, you will be interacting with the scrum master, product owner, product management and so on. So you will be working with very closely with a good amount of stakeholders to ensure, so you will be ensuring that you will be delivering high quality work from your team or by doing yourself the overall testing for the UAT. Then the next one is as a test lead, once the business requirements you are able to analyze and you are able to get as much as information, then you should be able to derive the test plan where you will be clearly jotting out complete aspects of the UIT and you will be listing what are the various testing activity you will be performing or your team will be performing, what are the various types of testing is required what is the percentage of testing will be done in white box what is the percentage of testing will be done at api testing or black box testing or performance testing automation testing and so on so every nitty gritty you will be documenting as part of the test plan and also once the plan is ready as a test lead your job is also to ensure so whatever you are planned as part of the test plan you will be required to track each and everything till to the end so that whatever you plan you are able to meet that plan as you define as per the agreement with the re relevant stakeholders as well then as a test lead your job is also as we discussed earlier which is 
test planning and also where you will be defining your entry criteria exit criteria your test case specification or test case uh, more uh, scenarios or test cases data and so on so you will be also doing test executions defect management and you will be having a test status with every stakeholders and also you will be delivering a test matrix to all the relevant stakeholders to tell you the health of the UAT testing which your team is doing or yourself which you are doing and also you will be also defining the overall timeline required and also you will be tracking against the timeline to meet the overall deliverables as part of the UAT testing and also we will ensure that everything will be then as part of the budget allocated for the UAT testing. Then the next responsibilities of a UAT test lead is your responsibilities also involve in identifying your job required to be identifying and managing the risk. You will also be required to find out the issues and you should also come up with various mitigation plans and action items to close this risk and issues because this is very crucial if you are not able to assess well in advance the risk or you are not able to find the solutions for the issues by working with all the stakeholders then your project will be at disaster so that is where the key element of a test lead will come into picture where his roles and responsibilities should be able to visualize everything in well in advance and to put the proper mitigation plans and ensure that it tracks everything to the closure. Then the next aspects of uh, UIT test leads responsibility is he, he also has a responsibility of resource management, especially if you are a team lead where you will be manage, managing your resources. It could be your testing resources or software tools which are required to perform UIT or a hardware tools or a hardware which is required to perform the testing it could be your mobile devices or it could be your desktop devices or any software tools which you are required to perform the software testing or uh, test management tools and so on everything you should be requesting what is required for UAT testing that is the job of the UAT test lead to ensure that you should plan well in advance everything so that UAT will be done as planned. So these are the some of the very critical and very important UAT test lead responsibilities. You should able to clearly understand and you should be able to work closely with these responsibilities to succeed as a UAT test lead. I hope uh, this video was very useful for you guys you guys are able to get to know what are the roles and responsibilities of UAT test lead. If you guys really like this video, then please give a thumbs up to this video. If you guys are not subscribed to this channel, then please click on subscribe and bell icon so that all our future videos will be in your inbox. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.